For years, automakers have been looking for new ways to make cars more fuel efficient. A new development in BYU's School of Technology may be the answer. Follow reporter Kathleen Keller and see how this new technology could lower your car's weight and increase your gas mileage. Automakers and drivers alike are always looking for ways to improve gas mileage. Professor Mike Miles and his team helped develop a method called friction bit joining, a process that combines high strength steel and lightweight aluminum to create a strong and lightweight piece of metal. Ultra high strength steel might be four times stronger than a regular mild steel. And so what automakers are doing is they're integrating more high strength steel into the frame of the vehicle. It allows them to use thinner metal, which reduces weight and which is a real prime objective right now for automakers. The process only takes a few seconds and a few clicks of a mouse. They weld the pieces together and once they are welded together, they take them apart and test their strength. The, the process itself is, is, the purpose is to be able to join to similar metals. So right now we're working with aluminum and ultra high strength steel. Uh, so the process basically pierce, uses a consumable bit to pierce through the aluminum uh, and then create a basically a diffusion bond uh, with the DP980 steel underneath. This process allows you to do something you couldn't do before, okay, bonding a really high strength steel and in terms of strength these would be ultimate tensile strengths of greater than a thousand megapascals, uh, whereas a mild steel might be 250 or 300 megapascals. Uh, allows you to bond that to something much softer like an annealed aluminum alloy. Reducing a car's weight not only improves gas mileage and makes cars more energy efficient, but it also makes them safer and a lot stronger. It definitely makes them safer when you use an ultra high strength steel. Okay? Ultra high strength steels have, are stiffer even though they're lighter in terms of the parts that uh, are integrated into the frame. Now that you know what it's capable of, let's see how it works. Uh, we actually shear our sheets of steel and aluminum into uh, small coupons. They're 25 by 100 millimeters and uh, those coupons we lay on top of each other and it's called a lap shear um, or a lap weld. And once the bit goes through those and creates the actual weld, we put them in a, an Instron tester and rip them apart to see how strong they are. Friction bit joining is just the beginning of this journey to lighter cars and more gas mileage. Professor Miles and Lyle look forward to seeing the metals used in vehicles. I think it'd be great to see this being used in industry. Uh, there's a lot of applications for it from automotive all the way to, to aerospace, um, even marine applications. Now what's needed is the process has got to be automated, fully automated so that the machine can go on the end of a robot and be integrated into a production line. And so that's really the next step for us. Kathleen Keller, BYU Weekly.